And look how cool that looks. I've never been so close to the moon. The craters look incredible. Honestly, when something like this comes through, you get so excited. It is July 20th, 1969, and man is about to land on the moon. Today, I'm attempting to photograph the moon like I've never photographed before. I'm excited to show you a super cool technique that lets me shoot some really close-up images of the moon. I'll combine these images together to create a big, full picture of the moon. People have been fascinated by the moon. Its close proximity to Earth makes it clearly visible with the naked eye. And I think people take this for granted and they easily forget that there's a massive piece of rock orbiting Earth. And I did the maths and I think it worked out as the moon is traveling at twice the speed of a bullet. Another planet the size of Mars drifted into the path of Earth. It was on a collision course. Now for some background, the giant impact theory. This theory proposes that the moon was created through a giant impact that happened billions of years ago. It said that a small planet collided with Earth and during this collision, a massive chunk of space Space debris launched into space and slowly started orbiting the Earth. And then this debris slowly turned itself into a moon. And that's one of the reasons why our moon is so big. It still blows my mind that the moon formed billions of years ago. But in present day, we've managed to send 12 people to the lunar surface. And hopefully it's super exciting that NASA Artemis missions are heading back to the moon as soon as 2024. And I actually cannot wait until I see with my own eyes someone to take a first step back onto that moon. I'm going to be using my new Celestron Edge HD 8 telescope. The Edge HD has an obvious 8 inches of aperture, allowing for some super impressive light capturing ability. With all this light capturing, it makes it amazing for capturing fine details and faint deep space objects. It's such a versatile telescope that means it's also good for shooting the planets and the lunar surface. This is because it has a massive 2,000 millimeters of focal length. And in short, it means it's really zooms in. A 2,000 millimeter focal length is massive considering I'm much more used to those wide field shots from my refractor telescope that only sit at 400 millimeters. So I'm hoping everything goes smoothly tonight and I'll be able to get this big beast up and set up okay. The camera that I'm gonna be using tonight is not the traditional choice you would use for lunar photography, but I think it's gonna work. Normally, people imaging the moon or planet would prefer to use a small planetary camera with a tiny sensitive sensor, something similar to my guide scope, the 120mm Mini by ZWO. Now tonight, I'm attempting to use my 1600mm Pro, which has a much larger sensor. But the secret is, I believe I can make that sensor smaller using some appropriate software, which will reduce the size of the sensor and overall mimicking a small sensitive planetary camera. Well, that's the plan anyway. <laughs> With a big telescope and camera comes weight, but my EQ6R Pro can definitely handle this kind of setup and imaging session. I nearly forgot one of the most important things when using a telescope like this one behind me, and that is the dew shield. In the UK, it gets very dewy 
during the night so you really need one of these to stop the front lens from fogging up during the night because that can be a real pain to deal with. I've even installed an electronic dew heater into the scope today so I've got the dew shield and the heater so hopefully I'm not going to have any problems with fogging up tonight. So the plan is now is just to wait until it gets a little bit darker but not so the moon gets so low on the horizon I've got to get a good equal ground between the two. I'm going to try and gather all of my images, all of my panels and then later on I'll be able to join them all together hopefully and get a nice super detailed image of the moon. Now I'm just capturing my first panel. I managed to dial in the focus as best as possible. It's looking really good. And I'm super impressed with what's happening so far. I hope my expectations match the picture at the end. <laughs> 